Good morning. Today is Friday, the fifth week of Lent, so let's begin. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe the mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the, praise be the Lord, I exclaimed. And I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I call upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged around about me. Destroying, the destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I call upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Lord God, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. 
The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many words from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? Jesus answered him. The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are God's? It calls them God's to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside. Can, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes, because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. Jesus went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, having been trained as a geologist, whenever I hear about rocks and stones, it kind of perks my, my interest. Uh, in our song today, it says, The Lord is my rock, my fortress. And of course, in our gospel today, people are casting stones. You know, for many, rocks are just simply inanimate, um, lifeless things. But to a trained eye, if you examine them closely, every rock has a stone to tell, or a story to tell, and, it, and it's really cemented in, in the rock itself. Through the minerals or whatever it is, it tells you uh, where it came from, whether it came from deep within the earth or, or deposited by some ocean stream, uh, whether it was a splay off of uh, another planet, the moon or Mars or some other asteroid that came to earth. Well, you might say that Jesus is the rock who was flung down to earth, and he too has a story to tell, and that is really cemented in uh, by God himself. But some people would not hear that word. Many did, but some did not. Rather than examine the rock, they cast stones, right? And how does Jesus respond to that? Well, he's, he says, if you don't believe my words, the story I have to tell, Father, um, then believe my words. And, you know, Jesus performed miracles not to spellbound people or, or um, entertain them or amaze them. Those works, his miracles were always to, to, as sort of a proof that his words were real, right? That his words have power. And so the question is, uh, what are we looking at, right? Are we examining the rock or are we casting stones? Um, good point. On the other hand, we might be recipients of other people's stones, right? Like Jeremiah. Um, people were criticizing him because he stood for what he believed. And yet, um, he responds quite differently than Jesus. He says, Lord, let me see the vengeance you, you uh, visit upon them. Well, Jesus was quite different, right? He received all the punishment that we deserve, they brought it to the Father, only to bring us forgiveness and new life. We're on the threshold of Holy Week. Uh, Palm Sunday begins soon, and, and, and all the other holy days, and it's a good time to not only examine the rock of Jesus, but to examine our lives and in relationship to Him. We stand and let us pray. Pray for the church built on the rock of Jesus uh, and also Peter, uh, that we remain firm, uh, our faith firmly set on the foundation of Christ. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in our government and for people who hold positions.
positions of authority and that the decisions be guided by the Holy Spirit for the safety and security of all. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we must look forward to Jesus to be our rock of safety, our fortress, our protection. Um, for this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families who are probably cooped up in their homes, and obviously, um, because of our current situation, that, that the Spirit guide them to help them grow in, in faith, hope, and love for each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who died in each of our personal needs. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer with faithful hearts. We dedicate these prayers to your care, confident in, in the salvation that you bring to us. We ask for this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divine Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed God, God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve you fittingly at the altars and there be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always never give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining through a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Donald Kettler, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially for Saint Paul, members of St. Paul's Christian women whom this Mass has offered. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory are yours, God forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Amen. you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.